Hello, welcome to our channel. Today, this white man is going to cook <laughs> Nigerian food. <-o. laughs> Igusi, my specialty. So, I will take you along how I make it. And probably not the original, I don't know, Hebrew or uh, Yoruba uh, version, but it doesn't matter. Everybody always likes it. So, and that is the most important. So, <laughs> we start off uh, with washing our hands. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so everything is clean and nice. Everything is clean and nice. Yeah. Okay. He has been. We've always been making it, but I just thought to video him today. Like, let's put it. Yeah, on, let's nobody, put it nobody on understands how a white man can can cook this actually. But I found the website called All Nigerian Recipes. Okay. And so that's why it has a it has a good explanation how to cook it. So, so that's where you learnt you learnt it. Yeah, that's where I learnt it. I tried, and I, I went to also eat in an African restaurant in Germany. Mm. So I also could get the taste of somebody originally cooking it. <laughs> but I like mine better. So. Yeah, I like yours better. You even make the best, like we say, I must say. <laughs> It makes it. Uh, it makes also, it. It makes it like better that. than me, guys. <laughs> it makes everything better than me. Yeah. So we take you guys along. Yeah. Yeah. What are we eating it with? Uh, oh, actually, we are eating it today with ugali. Ugali. So normally we would eat it with pando. Pando, yeah. But this time around we eat it with ugali, and ugali is uh, from maize, maize pop, sort of. So it's from Kenya. Okay. Uh, so it's also like a. Yeah, I like uh, swallow, but uh, okay. a little bit different. I don't know how to. I don't know how to make. Ugali. I'll make it. So don't don't worry. I'll make it you for make you. Everything. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it yeah. goes. Actually, this is uh, ugali, the powder. It's more like samo, I think. Semolina. Yeah. Okay, semolino. more like semo. <clears throat> yeah, but semolina is yellow, more yellow. I no, there's is white. Okay. Semo Nigerian yeah, semo is, is white. Uh, this is the stuff. So it's made from corn. Yeah. It's corn. Yeah, corn. Cornstarch. Okay. Yeah. So, so we'll see. We we'll take see, you uh, along how to make this. Also. That's sweet. So it? all the Nigerian family can uh, can make it. Try it and enjoy. As, as well, well, the, because the, it's really, really, the, really. The Ugali is from Kenya. Ugali from Kenya or in in, in Zimbabwe, uh, more the the, the middle uh, south of Africa. There it's called uh, Zaza. Zaza. It was okay. all the same. Okay. I think in Nigeria is a core. But we eat but it cold. cold. No, we eat this it one cold. Eat hot. hot. Okay. But it, but it's got cold. It gets very cakey. Cakey. Like, okay. Like, like, yeah. Okay. So, but it's, the trick is how to get to read the the, the good consistency. So it is not too soft and not, not too hard. Not too hard. Okay. So I hope that it will work out to the heat because it's been like three months since you made I, you I made, it made it last. So, okay. Yeah. All right. We'll see. Yeah. Let's go. And the agusi is from Nigeria. Obviously, it's a Nigerian soup. So today someone is making. So what are you making for us today? Egusi. Egusi. Egusi like noisy. No Nigerian can make egusi. <laughs> egusi is what what dish? Is a Nigerian, uh, Nigerian, dish. Nigerian soup. What are we Nigerian. eating it with? Ugali. Ugali. Ugali is from which country? Uh, Ugali is from Kenya, but it's the same as Zata from Zimbabwe. Okay. So. And you know what this is? <laughs> so this is making. Around it. That's the meat, the beef. That's the beef, very important. So we use beef <laughs> with thyme. So okay, listen, people, listen, listen, listen. Very well. <laughs> so so you know to how to cook to... <laughs> the goosey. What is very important is the stock. Okay. And the pieces of meat not too small. And not too big. And not too big. Just so I like them like this, and they should be a little bit chewy. But what is very important when you cook it. Good time. Mm -hmm. Nigerian pepper. It's not just and, Nigerian, it's Scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet. Okay. And very, Paprika very, and very, onions. very important. Yeah, that's so all optional. This is a little bit extra. But what is very important, put the crayfish. Oh, the okay. crayfish. That gives extra flavor to the, to the stock. Okay. Alright. So we are using. Half and of course, we are putting half food and shaki. This shaki and yeah, shaki is what in English? 
Uh, tribe. Tribe. So we are using tribe and pomo. Yeah. Pomo is what? Uh, ooh, cow skin. Cow skin, then cow foot. Yeah. So these are frozen, so we are going to defrost yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to defrost it. And, 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 uh, and, and uh, this is, you know. So this is the Ogusi. You blend some of it so I can return it to the fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the crayfish, you take some of the crayfish to blend. Oh, you already have, I still have. You still have? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's okay, the blended one. Okay. Yeah, we put a little bit extra. Extra. Oh, nice, oh, nice, oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay. Mm, like car. So you still put that smelly thing? Mm, no, 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 no. You won't put this. No, no, no. no. We don't no have local beans. On. Okay, no local beans. There's dry bitter leaf. Remember, we bought it from the African store. Yeah? There's yeah. a dry bitter leaf. Let me go and get it. Okay, go and get it. Oh. So that's it. That's oh, good. you forgot we bought it. I forgot we bought So you want to use dry bitter leaf instead of normal vegetables? No, 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 no. I just put a little you bit of soak it in water. And it gives them a little bit of extra taste. And the rest, we, of course, we use good fresh uh, spinach. spinach. Okay. So you are blending the. Yeah, we're blending the. Why we do the stuff? So this is garlic. Yeah. Do it later. Yeah. Let me bring it. Let me return to the fridge. Guys, we have enough stock. I brought it from Nigeria when I came. Yeah. When it's finished, we need to send a new Nigerian to us. <laughs> <laughs> so we can yeah, use it for like a, a year. We we'll use using the crayfish, so we have enough. I'll put it back in the fridge. This is like how many liter? So so huge. So we are blending the crayfish. Oh, so the goosey. The yeah, we are blending the goosey. It's already smelling. Okay, so that's the. That's the bitter leaf. Uh, bitter leaf. Okay, yeah. yeah. And of course, we put stockfish. It's already smelling nice. And this is okay, stockfish. It smells horrible. That's why you know it's good food. <laughs> it really is nice. So, this is stockfish. Yeah. Okay, I'm removing the egg to blend the one that didn't blend properly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, we so we'll start cooking the goats. The food. Okay, so this is cooking, right? The crab Yeah, food. the crab food is cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we mm -hmm. put uh, we also put some bay leaf in there, and we let us put some garlic. We'll okay, so you add a bay, bay leaf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah, for, for the taste. For taste. And garlic. Okay. Yeah. That's how it's going, guys. Someone is uh, in the his element. not took the African, but that is why people like it so much. <laughs> Someone is in his element. Yeah. And the Egusi is here. He has blended the Egusi. We are making enough so we can store in the fridge yeah, for yeah. later use. So we have like three or four portions. So this will stay here. Don't film when I cut off my finger. <laughs> so this is a bitter leaf. Bitter leaf, okay. You soak it in water. And sure. Actually, I should, I should have already removed the stalks when it still was red, but I forgot. So, but it doesn't matter. What are you removing? The, the real woody part, this part. I don't like it. It's going to be Okay, cold. that's the leaf. The in between the your leaf. teeth. I don't want, I don't want the woody part. Okay, the wood. Yeah. Okay, I thought it's part of it. Mm. Then soaking it removes the dirt, right? Yeah. Since it's been dried, dried for ages. Yeah, yeah. It makes it soft. Mm -hmm. So who taught you how to make this? Because mm. I'm not the one that taught you. Yeah, all Nigerian recipes. <laughs> all Nigerian recipes internet. on you. On, on, the, on the internet. Yeah, yeah, internet. That's on on right. the YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's I nice. heard about the soup. And it's one of his favorites. He even makes one of the best egusis. The best, because I don't make egusis. So he's one of them. We cooked once together, remember? Mm, but you also did the cooking. So he does all the cooking. 
It does more African fruit than I do. Can you imagine? Yeah, you can you get an African tummy from that. This <laughs> one can. That's how it's going, guys. Why are you eating? Why are you eating it? Mm -hmm. to, to check if it's done. Is it done? Mm -hmm. Really nice. Okay, let's um, add some um, stockfish. Because that is also a magic. Let's thing. rinse the stockfish, babe. Yeah. I'll put it in. Yes. To uh, keep for later. For later, for when we make uh, uh, apple. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very big parts. And Don't cut. Just, mm, just it just. You think it will disintegrate? Yeah, it will disintegrate. Oh, it will okay. still melt. Okay. So, that's the stockfish going. Wow. This I could still be filled with also. A lot of stuff. It needs to be filled. Obstacles. Mm. But this is shaki, it's boiled already. Then this is the cow food is cooking. What are you adding? Uh, Kaitna or cloves. Cloves, okay. Yeah, so, why not? You know, we can put up. Well, there's nothing, there's always, always everything is good. Okay. It doesn't matter. For, this, for the cow food. Yes, yeah, for the cow food as well. And a little bit of pepper. Um, pepper. Pepper. So all the meats are boiling. All the meats yeah. we are using is boiling. Yeah. Before we so start the, the cooking. Uh, the what? Spinach. What? Spinach. So that's the spinach. We're going to cut it off. And uh, I want it one more time. Just to be sure. Because my dear and people think anything is so good. Yeah. No Nigerians. I think it's African. It's an African thing. Yeah. We don't believe everything pre wash should, should uh, not be well, washed again. Since I've been to the market in Nigeria, I understand why you wash stuff. So don't worry. <laughs> but you need to wash it again, anyways. Is it after cutting that you wash? Doesn't matter. Okay. What are we, I yeah, really washing it to get rid of the sand. That's there nice. is no sand. Yeah, no sand, of course. No it's sand. just it's good to wash, even if it's pre-washed. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, when you know when you're making that food, if, <laughs> if, you, if you use it a little bit of white wine, <laughs> so why wait it? Why was it you sip a glass of wine in here? Your own level of cooking, your own style is on another level. <laughs> lacquer. Lacquer, 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 lacquer. Oh my god. So we took her to a big pot. Okay. We want um, to cook with a big up. pot. Yeah. We need a big pot, but we should not make it too hot because yeah. otherwise the goosey will burn. Okay. So that is how I do my goosey. I don't know, some people. First put salt or something. I never put salt. Not necessary, I think. Okay. So you, you eat of the... Then so the smoke alarm does not go off. No, 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 no. But the, the igusi needs to be fried, but very slowly and then not, you know, not too, too hot. So okay. And enough. Right. Um, what? Is it melted, the red one? Yeah, not really. Is it? So there we go, guys. It's starting. 
Ja. Das schadet nicht. Zumindest ist es zu viel noch. So, die Gussi takes on the collar, but not swim in it. Not swim. And, you, and then you fry it. I think Nigerian roll for the recipe says 8 minutes or something. So, I will do that, but not fully 8 minutes. It doesn't matter, actually. Uh, oh, and well, we need to prepare some tomato and everything because I'm also going to mix that in. So, tomato and onion, actually, okay. mixed, blended together. Okay. Yes, so that's it. That yeah. mm. so, preparing the tomato. Yeah, preparing the tomato, a little bit of tomato paste because we don't have too many tomatoes this time around. But pepper, pepper, onion, okay. whatever, and a little bit of water to get it started. Close the lid. Why are you adding salt? Because it needs a little bit of salt. The tomato? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you want to start now? Yeah. No, I think the it's the oil is the oil is on one. Do you want to fry? Least, it should be done. At least that is what all my German recipes say. But I, I, when I, 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 For eight minutes. Yeah. Okay. So you just set the timer for ten. Yeah, that's fine. When when it's about to the, uh, yeah, stop frying. <laughs> okay. Like you want to keep cooking the meat till it's nice and soft. Yeah. Like then it's you like it soft. Yeah. It's good. When I, when I cook and the water after, needs to reduce it. Yeah, yeah, so it's powerful. What's it powerful? A lot of, of things. <laughs> It has a lot of taste. It has a lot of taste. That's why you call powerful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is also. Awesome. Mm. Oh, you won't cover it so it doesn't burn. No, I need to first see what is happening. So starting to try now. Uh, fry it now for like four minutes and, and you know it needs to. So the egg is frying. Tomato with it. The soil is burnt. That's fresh. So everything can fight a little bit.
Lots of obstacles. Hmm? I say lots of obstacles. Zoom. It's if that would still needs to be put, <laughs> put crayfish. It's okay. best to, when it's, when it's a little bit bland, just put some crayfish. Okay. So you add... So all, all your ingredients has gone in before, yeah. while you are cooking the stock. Yeah. The, the maggi, the salt yeah. and everything. Okay. Yeah. But you just add crayfish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now you want to add the... Yeah, I want to add the, so, the spinach. Let's see. Let's put the some first. It will shrink. Ugali. Ugali, yeah, ugali, ugali. Water is cold and you put some ugali for the corn starch. And when it warms up, it thickens up and it should be the consistency of uh, wallpaper starch. glue. Okay, glue. You cook also some water because when it's cooked, you, you make it into a bowl and you put a little bit more water, just like pondo, and you let it steam a little bit extra. Okay? At least some. Mm -hmm. So you allow it to cook a bit? Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it will become a paste. This way the water came from the spinach, so it needs to get rid of the water. I like the goose a little bit dry. This should be sort of the consistency. And it, now it looks like very uh, corny or something. I don't know. Stitch, sticky. Yeah. Like a but it needs to, it means when it, when it becomes smooth, it's done. Okay, so it needs to melt. Yes, sort of. It needs to cook. <laughs> and in this case, we put a little bit extra water. So it's a little bit too thick. I don't want it to, to stick to the bottom. So we take it off. Of the fire. You see? It's different now, huh? It's melted. Almost, 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 almost done. Almost, almost, almost done. Be a few more minutes. Okay. You go see, we tasted, and um, it needs a little bit more of the magic ingredient. Crayfish. Crayfish. Now, when you add crayfish to it, after cooking, it gives it an added. <coughs> yeah. That Just like I always in my. My uh, apple, I put a little bit of crude red oil in. After like cooking? After cooking it. You put red oil yeah. to give it that woody. It gives a special native taste. Native taste. Yeah. taste. I love it. Me too. Yeah, it's looking so nice. Yeah, it's done. A little bit because you want to eat with our hands. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Hold a little bit more. Oh, so you add more. <laughs> See some serious tony. Hmm? A bit more. Wow. So it becomes thick. So this is cooling off, we just cover it a little. 
Well done, babe. Good job. You're using your manpower well. Yeah, it's hot. Don't burn yourself. You always burn yourself when you make a gali. More. It's even other than making pando. Because with pando, just one, one or twice, then let it turn. Careful, don't burn yourself. We are twisting your hand like a, a proper African woman. <laughs> so you put a little bit of water to cook it. Yeah. This is very important. You lift it from the pot. Otherwise it starts to really burn. To burn. Leave it now. Yeah. Okay. Another five minutes. Five minutes to cook and it's done. Until it falls across on the bottom and it's actually starting to burn. Okay. So that is when it's done. Okay. <laughs> so how excited he is, guys. Can you imagine? So we are eating soon. Let me set it up. Prost. It's done. Should be done. Yeah, forming a cross. Yeah, okay. you mix it one more time. Because yeah, I like it to look neat. So mm. that's why we have a special Ugali spoon actually, but I don't have that. So. So you put it in this to form in the yeah. apple. Exactly. Just put everything, even if we don't finish it. Because we might not finish it, it's a lot. Not that much. Okay, so it forms. Okay. Yeah, other people use a special big spoon, but I don't have one. This is totally So it's ready. We're ready to eat. Yeah. Okay, so we put that in. We are not eating everything. Just enough. That's enough. So, food is saved. Thanks, babe. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. This is how it should be. Okay. Mm. So, it's time to eat. Why is it, why is it dark? It's good. Yeah. Time to eat. Thanks, babe. You did good. Yeah. Thanks for dinner. Well, I'll first taste it before you thank me. No, I tasted already. <laughs> I tasted already. It's good. Look at this. So, and he eats it. I don't know. <laughs> How to roll it? I don't care. Yeah, so I eat mine now. So many obstacles, guys. Plenty, plenty obstacles. Plenty, plenty obstacles. It looks delish. Wow. Mm. Yeah. 
going to test it. Yeah. It's the consistency it's for me. Perfect. It's nice. Yeah, it's perfect. It's nice. Clean. And any Kenyan woman will be proud of me. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious, guys. This is really nice. Mm -hmm. You did good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The women are proud of you. <laughs> All the women are talking to me. <laughs> All the women are on the online that talk to you. Wow. This is really nice. It's dinner. Mm. It's dinner. But it's light. Mm. This is not like super mm. heavy. Yeah. The Kenyan women and the Nigerian women are jealous right now. Mm? Mm. I got the right one. Yeah, you got a white white guy that can cook Nigerian. Yeah. Mm. I love this food. You see, I like it, eh? You've mm, come yeah, yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. I told you. Mm. Yeah, that is going. Mm. The girl is not a food that you eat and still mm. look pretty. No, no, no. Because of the consistency. Yeah. So you eat it and it looks messy on your plate yeah, because no, no, of the it tastes good, huh? consistency. But if it's pando. Huh? It can really break and just round. Mm. It, it, it's neat. It's a neat eat. But see, there's no way you eat it nice. It's it will still look like scattered. Wow. It tastes amazing. Yeah, there is it, guys. Huh? Sign off. You as a Nigerian, <laughs> yeah, we sign off now. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Thanks guys. for joining us. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys enjoy <laughs> the vlog. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Remember to like our channel, share, and subscribe to our channel. Bye, guys. Bye. Let's continue eating our <laughs> meal. <Back up. laughs>